With the growth of technology and the growth of cyber theft, there is a need for cyber police to control the dangers of unwanted cyber activities. Now, we take a look at a career that many people don't know exists, and that is cyber security. Mind you, cyber security is a profession which sees you plan and create a company security policy. You don't only create a security policy, but you also manage security firewalls around the clock. You perform ethical hacking into the establishment's network in order to discover and fix any security loopholes. You also complete and maintain reports on the company's security system and determine whether it is on par with the required security standards and investigate any frauds and other computer crimes. This does seem like a very interesting career so let's find out more about cyber security cyber or computer security specialists who are also known as information security specialists design and implement network control mechanisms that serve to control users access to a computer network through processes as firewalls they also implement application access controls such as password authentication that keeps unauthorized users from accessing a particular computer or network or program and also take steps to deny hackers access to a system and set up programs that detect hackers who do intrude into a system. To get into this field, one must study for a bachelor's degree in computer science. Therefore, maths and computer skills are very important while in high school. The following qualities are very important. Critical thinking, active listening and learning, and also good communication skills. As computer networks grow and more sensitive data is stored on computer files, the need for trained, skilled cybersecurity specialists will also grow. Once qualified, you can be employed by educational institutions, government organizations, and mostly financial institutions. Nowadays, every information about people, about their addresses, about their finances, is stored in computers. And in that way, you have people with malicious intent who would want to go and steal such information for whatever reason they have. So the field of cybersecurity is there to prevent such people from stealing that information, to detect in case they steal such information, but also to track and trace them uh, wherever they are if they manage to steal the information. So that is in general what we do in cybersecurity. So we would really like to know, what are your daily routine? Okay, my, my daily routine is it's, it's very simple. In the forensic lab, we do, as I'm going to show you early, later, you connect the equipment, you connect the hard drive, you download the data, you analyze, write a report, send it back to the police, get ready to go to court and testify about what you found there and how you did it. For me, the basic uh, uh, subject that you need to do at school, uh, mathematics, there's a lot of issues in computer, it's all about logic and, 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 and mathematics will help you a lot to do that. And if you like it to be at a school where you can, where they teach uh, computer science, I will encourage you to study computer science. But basically mathematics is the most requirement in all of this, uh, for, for, for this job. Generally the, the, the people who use our services, I would say it's government department, mostly the criminal justice cluster and uh, financial institutions, your banks and your insurance companies. As a cyber security specialist, <clears throat> you don't necessarily accuse people of anything. What happens is the police or whoever is leading the investigation, they are the ones that, are, that are, 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 are accusing. And I'm sorry, the word accuse is not the right word, but these are the, they are the people that are alleging that somebody has committed fraud. So they bring it to you as a specialist to verify documentation, to trace email, and to trace the activity. So in other words, you are not involved in the allegation part. You only prove whether what the, the, the investigator is saying is true or not. So you're not involved in that. So nobody will accuse you of anything. Our investigation are done in a, in a laboratory. We call it a cyber forensic lab. That's where we do all the analysis and, and, and the report writing. Aun Jengo Basen Moniluguti cyber security is a very techno intense career and many companies do depend on these specialists to ensure that their company or personal computer systems are not hacked into. Now taking a look at the numbers, one can earn between 200,000 rands to 900,000 rands per annum. Monthly that can also be broken down to 16,000 rands going to 75,000 rands per month. Now the salary can differ depending on your skills and qualifications and whether or not you become a successful 
successful entrepreneur. Amatuba Maningi Lagwa Cyber Security. Kumbulage Oguti, it's easy for one to enter the world as a cyber security analyst or a security specialist. You can go also go into cyber security management and become a research scientist or also become a systems engineer. Now that you have a basic understanding on what this career is all about, let's go see what happens in the world of cyber security. Today I'm going to show you some of the forensic tools that we use in the lab. This one, we, we call it a, a VOOM. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a bit of a funny name. Uh, what, what, what we use this one for is, um, we use it to copy um, a suspect's hard drive into an empty hard drive. In forensic field, you, you need to block your hard drive such that um, whatever you, whenever you do the copy, your computer doesn't write back to the hard drive because anything that it writes there, your evidence is contaminated, the court won't allow it. So if you use this, it blocks the write back. In other words, you can only write one way to the empty hard drive that you can't write back. This process that we are, we are, we are, we are, I'm showing you here, we call it acquisition process. One of the key things during a forensic process when you do this kind of thing is every single step, you must write it down. Mm. If you do the acquisition, you must say, I've started the acquisition at this time, you write it in the time. Mm. Then it does, it does the acquisition. When it's finished, you write, the acquisition finished at this time. I took the hard drive, I put it in the, in the, in the, in the safe, I locked it. You write every single step down because those are the steps that's gonna make your evidence have integrity in court. Okay. If you don't write it and assume that everybody does that, then the lawyers will be asking you questions and then once you stumble, your case falls by the wayside. This technical stuff, they are not as important as the steps that you wrote. Because remember, the judges, they don't understand these things. You got to connect to the SATA, connect IDE, connect to the table, whatever. The only thing they want to know is, uh, is your process repeatable? Because remember, if your process is repeatable, anyone can see, okay. Then the judge will say, all right. Then they can call somebody else that's ask them, when you do the acquisition, what do you do? This person will explain the same thing that you've done. The judge will have it in writing, okay. Now this, then this is a, a formal process, it's acceptable everywhere. So, let me say, we are in a case where, whereby like, Singi approach our money, like the, 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 sus the suspect. Mm. Ne? Then he says, go me, give me, uh, can you please go through because I'm a hard drive. Mm. Ne? Then if ever like there is anything, mm. can you please erase it? Ovele, ovele we erase. You as the you as the specialist, do, do you have ama powers or change the concerning like including a bribe? Remember, um, this process requires you to have integrity. You're not allowed to do anything illegal. Because if you do that, you and if if it's, if you do that and they catch you, mm. you'll be in trouble. You'll be charged for defeating the ends of justice. I'm sure mm. you've heard this one. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Defeating the ends of justice is when you destroy <coughs> evidence so that somebody cannot be seen to have done something wrong. So you're not allowed to do that. Don't even think of doing that. Otherwise, mm. your career is finished. As with most careers, a very particular education is necessary for qualification. Manjege aspeguti imapama subjects eguzo mele uatate eskela uguzunge negui cyber security. Since computers are at the core of this career, it would be recommended that you take computer studies in school. And while other recommended subjects are maths, physical sciences and languages. Manja get to further your studies and get the best training to get into the world of cyber security. You can attend any of these tertiary institutions. You can go to UNISA. You can also go to the University of Johannesburg, UCT, the University of Pretoria, and the University of the Western Cape. If you are interested in a career in cyber security, you will first and foremost need to have an investigative nature. A realistic and conventional approach to a task is also a must. Dedication and discipline are also very critical to ensure that all of your deliverables are met. Jobs in the sector can require very long hours, especially when a deadline is near. Now, a cybersecurity personnel who works in this industry can work from home in a company or is expected to travel to different businesses. Because it is a very challenging career, it can get very stressful. Even the slightest slip in security can spell doom for the business or job loss for the cybersecurity professional. If you enjoy investigating and protecting important classified information, a job in cybersecurity might be a click away. Peace out.